BoxingScene.com at the Roseland Ballroom, where we caught up with the only light heavyweight, four-time Golden Glove champion in New York City, and undefeated light heavyweight, Will Rosinski. So, Will, you're here tonight in support of your, fa your, your partners, your friends, watching the boxing. Talk to us. Yeah, man, for, uh, I know a couple guys on this card. I was in uh, a couple different countries with guys that are on this card, like Ray Robinson. I was in China with him. Uh, I'm here for, I was here for Dennis Douglas. We were sparring together, get, helping him get ready for this fight. So I'm just here to support. I know they'll be here, there to support me. So You were slated to fight early this year. That fight never came through. How disappointed were you? Actually, it, it worked itself out because I wound up getting uh, two fights in January rather than that one. So, you know, I'm, I'm happier now. So one step at a time. How has it been since you made the transition from the amateurs to the professionals? Well, I'm having fun, you know. Uh, it, it is a big difference, of course, with the headgear and no headgear, but I'm learning as I go. I'm taking one fight at a time. I'm not looking past nobody, no matter what the record says, and taking it one fight at a time. What would you say is different in your training as opposed to the amateurs? Well, now, you know, now I'm training when I'm when I'm training, I'm training five-minute rounds, you know, as opposed to maybe I was doing three or four in the amateurs because you were dealing with only three-minute round, uh, two-minute rounds. But you know, we're doing more rounds, higher rounds, and you know, it's 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 similar because I always train hard, but there's, there's minor changes like that. In the amateurs, especially on the national level, it's no secret that a fighter may fight today and then have to fight again tomorrow. In the professional ranks, we try to stay as busy as we can. How busy do you want to be in 2009? I mean, right now I want to fight every month, twice a month. I don't care as long as, you know, the, the fights keep going the way they're supposed to. And because of the amateurs, I was, I was able to get used to that, you know, fighting every day like that. So your body gets used to it, and now I'm ready for the pros do that again. I want to introduce you to his trainer. In fact, I'm going to let him introduce himself. Tell the boxing fans around the world what's your name and what's your pedigree. Felipe Gomez, um, I'm a former two-time Golden Glove champion, and uh, you know I won a bunch of other, a bunch of other tournaments in New York City. Um, but you know, I'm here with Will. You know, I'm trying to give him my experience from back in the, back in the days. Uh, I feel that in order for you to in order for you to be able to train a fighter, you got to be a fighter yourself. And uh, the fact that I had that I had that experience, I had over 100 fights. I had a, you know a couple of good uh, tournaments under my belt. Uh, you know. It gives me the strength to give to Will and, and the experience. So, uh, you know, he's a dedicated fighter, and that's what a trainer would look for, somebody who's very dedicated, who wants to fight and wants to train. And it's a pleasure training a guy like him because he, all he does is come to me and he tells me, listen, I want to train harder, and that's what he does. He trains hard every day. The more I give him, the more he, the, the more he takes. So, how, how enlightening is it for you, his achievements in the amateurs and – his breakthrough in the professional rankings. Well, the fact that that you know he he's he's a four-time Golden Glove champion, and you know he accomplished so much in the amateurs, and now now he's he's the tr transition into the pros. You know, it's, it's, it's a big step. And uh, to be honest with you, the experience that he got from the amateurs is what's going to obviously help him in, in the pros. And uh, you know, we don't need boxing. He has he has his uh, his education, but you know what? He's a talented kid. He has a lot of talent. He's going to do well in the pros. As a guy who works close with him in the gym, what are some of his best assets? Uh, it's just his dedication. You know, he's very dedicated, and he's going to go a long way due to the fact that he's, he's dedicated and he's a humble kid. So he's, he has a bright future ahead of him. So, Will, you're following in the footsteps of Curtis Stevens, Jadon Codrington, Danny Jacobs. How honored are you to be following the steps, and how anxious are you to prove that you can actually take those steps? Oh, forget it. those are guys I look. You know, I've been looking up to my whole amateur career, being in the gym with them, watching them do what they do. So, uh, you know, I want the spotlight that they have it now, and hopefully, you know, we'll all be in the spotlight together. So, is there anything you want to say to the boxing fans all around the world? I appreciate the support. Come out the 25th of February, BB Kings. I'm gonna try to showcase my skills again. And uh, just stay updated because I'm trying to fight as much as possible. Well, we appreciate your time. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Felipe, thank you. Appreciate it.